it slices, it dices, it's Onimusha Blade Warriors. Boxing beatdowns in Fight Night 2004. Plus, impossible cleavage. And Ben Affleck. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, we do. It's game time. Introducing two more uncomfortable moments in gaming, Adam Sattler and Morgan Webb. Hello and welcome to this overwhelmingly exciting edition of Axe Play. Today we have a new Onimusha game for the Supernatural Samurai fans. A boxing game from EA Sports, the best damn sports game developers, period. Plus, we have conga drums. We have Ben Affleck. And we have boobies. So there's something for everyone. But we begin the show with the latest spin-off of the cult Onimusha series. Alongside Onimusha 3, starring Shao Reno, don't ask, Capcom is releasing an Onimusha version of Super Smash Brothers. Here's a review of Onimusha Blade Warriors. You had fun playing Super Smash Brothers, watching Link whoop the Jesus out of Donkey Kong, just completed your blissed out adoration of the Nintendo game universe. Want the level hopping weapon to magic grabbing slash and stab without the cute to cuddly color form characters? Lick your blade for sharpness, fight fans, and prepare to render opponents into sashimi. Onimusha Blade Warriors is here. Now, the first thing Onimusha fans will notice is the watered-down graphics. When the in-game camera is far away, you feel like you're playing an older game. When it zooms in for the dust flying out the grinding teeth of battle, you'll notice that you don't see the dust from the grinding teeth of battle. Environments start out adequately, and dynamic elements like shattering buildings and falling bamboo add to the brutish and poetic delivery of grim death. Then the seppuku-like stab o tedium sets in and... Well, you might as well be jumping on and off the dumpster behind the El Cajon McDonald's. You'll play both heroes and demons, soaking up souls like shots at a Southern Rock show. Unlike your Southern Rock counterpart, you will actually gain otherworldly strengths in fighting and magic use. Certain challenges will pit you against the clock and a kind of soul-sucking orgy for victory. Damn, that soul is nasty. Story mode is marginalized by brief cutscenes that simply waste your time as you listen to some chest thumping sourpuss tell you that they're gonna knock your nads off. The greatest swordsman of the demon world! Ready or not, here I come! This will be kind of disappointing to fans of the series who have come to appreciate the more involved cutscenes of previous versions of Onomusha. The versus option allows you to pit many of the heroes of the Onomusha series against one another. A game like this shines in multiplayer as you and three pals can whoop the mammaries or datteries off of one another in a zinger and fresco sugar crazed frenzy. Weapons range from traditional to bizarre. One moment you'll be throwing stars and the next moment you'll be shooting the staple of all great samurai movies, the space age withering death ray. Fight routines feel a bit like trying to use a straw in a jar of honey, detracting from a game which, by now, should embrace the fluidity of the genre. Let's back off the throttle for a minute and focus our X-Play scrutiny for a slow motion move, shall we? I will not stand over my precious human who is cutting demons down like weeds. Could there really be someone else with the same power I have? The big humans must be silenced! Onimusha Blade Warriors may appeal to diehard fans, but we found its tedious backgrounds, sluggish motion, and unremarkable mechanics to be a dull blade. We give it a two places out of five. You scum, start with your tricks. Now, the reason Smash Brothers is popular is because people love Nintendo's roster of characters. I mean, who wouldn't want to see Link fight Samus from Metroid? And that's precisely why Blade Warriors doesn't work. The Onimusha lineup aren't icons like Donkey Kong or Mario. They're a bunch of random characters who already fought each other in all the previous Onimusha games. So if the laser firing and sword swinging is too over the top for you, maybe you'd like some realistic fighting. Okay, well, nobody does sports like EA, and this year they got a new boxing game. Now, as many of you know, EA took a year off to fix their old boxing franchise, Knockout Kings. Instead, they wound up completely revamping everything, including the control scheme, which just might change the way boxing games are played from here on out. Here's our review of Fight Night 2004. Boxing. The raw power. The pure use of human strength and dexterity. Her. 
and a sudden loss of self-awareness when you drop to the mat. Like a dying ducky. Throughout gaming history, the sweet science just hasn't been. Most games have used a series of button combos that reduce the game to a frenzy of matching. Not so with Fight Night 2004. Why is there a blimp in the stadium? The controls of this game are the biggest innovation since the fatigue meter. All the standard punches are initiated by the right analog stick. This allows you to focus on strategy rather than memorization. And guess what? Boxing actually requires the use of your noggin rather than just your brute strength. Okay, in most cases. Now, while the new control style is a move in the right direction, it's not perfect. The game puts a lot of demand on your thumb. Not all of us are the Fonz. Hell, I'm not even picky Tescadero. Though, apparently, I'm this guy when I indulge in ringside fantasies. Wait, hold on, this is a fantasy. What, when's their cornrows part of my fantasy? And I can't even win. I'm, I'm just not gonna fantasize anymore. Obviously, the game comes with a creative player mode, and there are different modes. The primary one is career mode, and this is the one other area where the game falls a bit short, just like me. The Grim Reaper with no mercy. There's nothing wrong with it, but it just doesn't match the depth found in other EA Sports games. Management and customization options are too light, just like me. But the opponents are not. Each boxer boxes differently, and you have to learn their style and plan. Just throwing punches willy-nilly will get you nowhere but down. But even getting your ass handed to you looks good in this game. The animations are smooth, and knockouts just... Man, look at that. Fight Night 2004 isn't perfect, but it has the foundation to become as definitive a sports series as some other little titles from EA. And if you like boxing, you should already own it. A four out of five. Ooh, Ooh yay, I'm a winner! Now, up until now, Victoria's Boxers for the PS2 was the best boxing game, but I think we have a new heavyweight champion in Fight Night. Plus, the knockouts, they just look so cool. Like that, what, mm -hmm. yay. Unfortunately, there are some big name boxers missing, mm -hmm. like Mike Tyson, Oscar De La Hoya, Marvin Hagler, Larry Holmes, and George Foreman. But you still get Muhammad Ali and Sugar Ray Leonard. It's pretty damn cool. Yeah. Stick around. Later in the show, we have scantily clad women who defy gravity. Mm -hmm. Ratings going up, dignity going down. <laughs> Coming up, even our staff writer can play Donkey Konga. Pat of butter. I hate recipes that use slang. Big Boy's making brisket and wants to know how much pat of butter is. Whenever I see that in a recipe, I just throw the whole stick in. I'll ask Jeeves. Big Boy is making brisket? Kind of moron doesn't know how much a pat of butter is. Now, for a limited time, get the new sidekick too. Only $1.99. Everybody needs a sidekick. Multi-state insurance company. Hello, I'd like a car insurance quote, please. Uh, yeah, hi. Hello. Yeah, yeah, I'd like a quote, please. Can I have a car insurance quote. Need a quote. Yeah, I'm looking for a car insurance quote, please. Quote, please. Just need a quote. Hey, think easier. Think progressive. We give you our direct rate for car insurance, plus the rates of other top companies, instantly. Go to Progressive.com. In these times of too much credit card debt, are you getting caught trying to balance your credit card problems as you try to balance your life? The consequences are serious. But there is hope. There's 800 Credit Card Debt, an approved debt management company established to get you back on solid ground. If you have between $2,500 and $40,000 in credit card debt, then 800 Credit Card Debt can help eliminate credit card penalties, reduce interest rates, and make your monthly payments smaller. They negotiated my payments down substantially from $300 a month to $135. My interest rates on all four cards were between 22 to 29 percent. They lowered my interest rates to 4 to 11 percent. It went down from 20,000 to 18,000 to 16,000 to 15,000. At a much faster rate than I could have done myself. Call for your free and confidential credit card debt analysis. Call in the next five minutes to see how fast you can get out of debt. 1-800-453-1306. They're released 
date has been pushed back to the fourth quarter of 2008. Adam Zessler and Morgan Webb. We're like Duke Nukem forever. <laughs> Welcome back to X-Play. You know, the Japanese make some crazy peripherals, like the Virtual Boy or the Power Glove. Yes, they're wacky, and we usually hate them. Until now, behold my congas. Please never say that again. Here's our preview of Donkey Konga for the GameCube. When we imported Donkey Konga from Japan, we never guessed we'd get a surprise bonus. Stop it, stop it, no. Stop, no dancing monkey. We quickly found that Helper Monkey could be a valuable asset to the team. Oh, stop that, you stupid. Oh, front the light. Donkey Konga is Nintendo's first ever rhythm game. Well, kind of. The game was actually created by Namco with Nintendo's blessing. The concept is simple. As icons scroll across the screen, you hit the included Konga controller in time with the music. Interspersed between the drum beats are hand claps, though you can tap the side of the drums if you want. The music includes a few Nintendo classics to pound the drums to. and some not-so-classic like the DK rap from Donkey Kong 64. It also includes some of the worst J-pop you've ever heard. It made Helper Monkey angry. like more Nintendo songs in the U.S. version. And hopefully, they'll replace the ear-splitting J-pop with something else. One word of caution. This game is extremely easy. Yes, it's that easy. As you complete songs, you're rewarded with coins that can be spent to replace the sounds of the conga drums. Donkey Konga also has a few mini games to play. Like this homage to Donkey Kong Jr. Some of the most fun you can have is playing head-to-head -head battles. But I think Helper Monkey was cheating. While it's kind of simple, it's also incredibly addictive. Keep an eye out for Donkey Konga when it's released later this year. Right now, we only have the Japanese version of Donkey Konga, but we're looking forward to a whole lot more rhythmic gaming as time goes on. You know, I tried to get a real helper monkey, but apparently you need to be physically or mentally impaired to get one. Yeah, and they wouldn't give you one Why? Mm. Oh. Up next, Ben Affleck says what's on everyone's mind. Hey, can you get me Zoom 3? They built the pyramids in a shorter time than it takes to make Zoom 3. I was tired of working in kitchens and warehouses, making minimum wage. I needed a career change. I decided to go to ITT Tech because I had seen my brother and his wife attend and both got good jobs right after they graduated. I think it may have been the best decision I ever made. Now I have a career instead of just a job. ITT Tech helps me develop the basic knowledge to get into the field and succeed in my current position in information technology support. My parents are very proud. I'm confident about my future and what it's going to bring. I no longer have to live with the constant uncertainty of going from paycheck to paycheck. I'm finally feeling free. We are educators helping people build a foundation for the rest of their lives. ITT Technical Institute, education for the future. To find out more, call 1-800-327-1172 or visit us on the web. Take advantage of our programs and in information technology with a convenient class schedule to help reach your goals. Call 1-800-327-1172 to apply. Why did your last diet fail? If you're over 30, overstressed, and overweight, take a look in the mirror. You've got excess body fat around your waist, hips, and belly, right? Well, diet failure is not your fault. 
The problem is cortisol, a nasty little stress hormone that traps excess fat around the middle. But now there's Relicor. Relicor helps control cortisol and helps us lose stubborn belly fat fast. If you're dieting and still plagued by unsightly belly bulge, even if you're low-carb dieting, there's only one Relicor. Relicor helps you get thinner, look younger, and have energy to burn. Remember, when you're over 30, overstressed, and want to get rid of stubborn belly fat, the answer is Relicor. Call in the next 15 minutes and find out how you can receive a one-month supply of Relicor absolutely free. Call 1-800-477-1830. That's 1-800-477-1830. Order Relicor now. It's easy. You'll love it. Worms and germs can attack your computer. Something's wrong with your computer, and you've tried everything. Try this. One quick click. Velos will keep your entire system virus-free, safe, and secure. With Velos. To make it faster than the day you got it. Visit Velos.com. And make it quick. If you even think you're slowing down, get a free virus scan at Velos.com and make it fast. Cell phone, 1.2 megapixel camera, and holds 5,000 MP3s. Wow, that's, that's really impressive. Mm. Oh. Hold on a second, sorry. Hello? Yeah, hey, I'm in the middle of lunch. Uh, can I call you back? All right, cool, thanks. So that's a lot of MP3s. Yeah. See the best, greatest, biggest, shiniest, coolest, and blinkiest new stuff coming next year when the Screensavers goes live at the Consumer Electronics Show January 6th and 7th at 7 Eastern. Hold on, let me, let me put you on speakerphone. No. Ahora, Adam Sessler e Morgan Webb. Welcome back to X-Play. Now, sometimes Adam and I get to talk to real celebrities about gaming. And surprisingly, some of them actually know what they're talking about. Ben Affleck is one of them. Morgan. Hey, Ben. So, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, we're good. Thanks for being on the show. Hey, can you get me Doom 3? What's the story with Doom 3? What's happening? I want it. No one can get Doom 3. They keep on pushing it back. Everyone wants Doom 3. I want Doom 3. I want Doom 3. How long does it take? They built the pyramids in a shorter time it takes to make Doom 3. Now, I was going to ask you if you're looking forward to Doom 3 or Half-Life 2, but I guess I know your answer now. I, I never liked Half-Life as much as I liked, you know, like, it's not, it's not in that level of, I don't think it's as good as Unreal, I don't think it's as good as Quake 3, the original Quake was, was, was hot, you know. Um, I mean, Halo's good, you know, uh, I don't know. I, I, in terms of those first-person shooter games, though, I mean, Doom 2 was really, that was the that was the king. That started, that got me completely addicted to it and got me into playing online and the whole thing. And I mean, I was playing, you know, online multiplayer Doom 2 with like the 14-4 modem, where you really had, you know, you could get like really, you know, single frame, t t turn, 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 and then you'd be already dead before you turn around. All right, but have, have you been playing a real tournament 2K4? Uh, not much of that, actually. I haven't really, I haven't really gotten that into that. I, I, I've been, I kind of ended up moving more towards the like, um, Warcraft, I got really into playing StarCraft on Battle.net and just, and I like, I realized that once I had um, logged over a thousand victories on the internet, I realized that I was officially a hopeless chump. And uh, then when Warcraft 3 came out, um, that was really, that was kind of off and running to that. So then I'm, I've, I've moved more, I guess that's not like an RPG, it's kind of a mix, right? It's like kind of strategy, kind of combat kind of thing. So. Do you have a dream game, like a game that doesn't really exist, but you really would like to see it? Yeah, the the, the Star Trek Hollow Deck game, where I just come in and it's just every, it's all your it's all your fantasies and all the good things. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we'll have to start working on that technology. <laughs> yeah. And what do you think of violence in video games these days? Do you think it's too much? I don't think that's what causes kids to become alienated and screwed up. And no, I mean I mean I played as vicious and savage and violent games as you could possibly play from the time I was, you know, a really young kid, and, you know, it only screwed me up this much. So, no, you know, I, I think if you're prone to being, <clears throat> you know, it maybe it's like an outlet for a thing where if you're, if you're damaged and you have some problems already and you're kind of nuts, then maybe it's a thing you get obsessively into and it can kind of warp you. Uh, I think you gotta balance your life, but I don't think, it was like I never wanted to go out and, I mean, you know, um, you know, kill people, although I would sometimes think like, you know, like when I was, I would play Quake for hours and hours on end, and that first came out, I'd be like looking at people in the street and be like, if I had a rocket launcher, I could get him right now. <laughs> but I never acted on it, you know what I mean? Now, we've definitely all done that after playing GTA. You're driving around, you're getting some good <laughs> ideas. You're like, I could just pull over and steal that car <laughs> and beat up that guy. 
All right. So, which movie do you want to see be made into a video game? You know what? Movies that get made into video games a lot of times don't work. Like, Enter the Matrix was kind of cool in its own way, but it's still just kind of like... And, and they did good stuff where they integrated the story into the movies, but it's always just kind of like... You know, you're Spider-Man and you have to rescue Mary Jane, and you're kind of like, well, yeah, or, or, or they're just trying to... And movies from video games are really bad. Like, they were going to make a Doom movie for a while, and I was like, well, what's the story? You're a space marine and you kill mutants? I mean, there's not really a story there. There are two different forms of entertainment. One really is a lean-back thing, and one's a lean-forward thing, and it's hard to get them to, to both uh, work together. Usually the best video games are ones that are original ideas that don't have anything to do with movies or anything else. So when you play video games, you're looking for a more open-ended experience than you're looking for in a movie. Yeah, definitely. You know, a more open-ended experience. And, um, you know, I like, I like games where you can build your character, too. Like, I like Diablo, because you can just constantly pick up new items and get better and better and better and better. And, you know, I got up to be, I was like the 35th level dude in Diablo. But then I got online. And this is always the guy who's level 70. And no fun. All right, I got to go into a live feed. Nice talking to you guys. Thanks, Ben. Well, I'm glad the live feed takes precedence over us. See, he knows exactly what he's talking about. Affleck is a nerd, just like us. A nerd with more power, money, and hair than us. I have hair. Oh. Coming up, these women have one thing in common, debilitating back pain. In the care, the world leader in home health care products helps people get out and live their lives again. Invacare's complete line of powered mobility products are all designed to be comfortable, stylish, and easy to maneuver. Rediscover the fun you thought was long gone. Call Mobility Products Unlimited, a premier provider of quality Invacare powered mobility products, to find out which Invacare product is best for you. You may qualify to apply for Medicare coverage, and Mobility Products Unlimited will help you handle all the paperwork. You can get back out there doing the things you love to do with Invacare's complete line of powered mobility products and Mobility Products Unlimited will handle the delivery and service for you. So whether you're inside or you're out, Invacare delivers performance you won't find anywhere else and drives circles around the competition, over thresholds, through gravel, across the lawn, or even up inclines, making it easier to get around and do the things you love to do. I have the ability to go where I want to go and do what I want to do without waiting for somebody else. Where it can go is the most important thing in your life. It's given me freedom to go places I want to go and do things that I want to do. You have freedom. You just have your own freedom back. Hi, I'm Arnold Palmer with great news from Invacare. It's easier to get around than ever before. Invacare says, yes, you can. Do yourself a favor and call the number on your screen. Call Mobility Products Unlimited today for a free information kit about any one of Invacare's powered mobility products. Call toll-free at 1-800-403-6524. That's 1-800-403-6524. You may qualify to apply for Medicare coverage or other insurance. We work with you to handle all the details. Call now to find out which Invacare power wheelchair is best for you. Call Mobility Products Unlimited today at 1-800-403-6524. Call now. Cell phone, 1.2 megapixel camera, and holds 5,000 MP3s. Wow, that's, that's really impressive. Mm. Oh. Hold on a second, sorry. Hello? Yeah, hey, I'm in the middle of lunch. Uh, can I call you back? All right, cool, thanks. So that's a lot of MP3s. Yeah. See the best, greatest, biggest, shiniest, coolest, and blinkiest new stuff coming next year when the Screensavers goes live at the Consumer Electronics Show January 6th and 7th at 7 Eastern. Hold on, let me, let me put you on speakerphone. No. Spoonerisms are fun with Madam Zessler and Organ Webb. Welcome back to X-Play. We all know that sometimes ladies in games are generously proportioned. Yeah, they have big boobs. Scary oversized twin Zeppelins flying in the sky boobs. Here's a closer look at that. As if you needed one. They're huge. Yes, they are. We all know what happens when game designers get giddy and create their own dream women. Okay, so they're not that hot, but give them a break. It's the early 90s. Wanna party? But things get really weird when the lonely boys of the glowing screen decide to be clothing designers. <laughs> this is when fantasy and fashion sense collide in horrible, terrible ways. Trust me, 
It's just that I'm a mysterious and sexy woman with a slightly lawless aura. I don't know if I'm getting lawless from spandex and feathers, but that's cool. Whatever floats your boat, my little chickadee. And while we're on the subject of Crimson Sea 2, I've gotta ask, what's the purpose of those things on her shoulders? You're gonna make me cry. Yeah, whatever. Then there's this lady. Uh, I don't really know how that happened. There's a boy out there who just shared his very special fetish. Get going! You know what would have kept you warmer than a scarf? A shirt? Because <laughs> the fighting games have always seemed to have a lot of lovely ladies. Fight! Taki sure is well endowed. I'm surprised they had spandex in feudal Japan. Hang on. See? You can see your belly button. Anyway, I think we can all agree that it's not exactly as good as armor, and she could probably benefit from a plate mail sports bra. Nintendo. And oh, Ivy, why, oh, why did they dress you like that? No woman would think that shirt is a good idea. You win. See? She would have won if she'd been wearing clothes. Hey, hey, lady, I think you forgot a pant leg. And while somehow these things seem to work in video games, these costumes rarely look good in real life. And everyone loves Cammy, right? She fights in a mock turtleneck G-string. Well, I feel like I like her less and less these days. I guess we'll be taking this. And while Yuna used to be a charmer, now she just gives me the chills. The Sudeki girls are hotties, I know. You will burn in the inferno. But somehow, they just don't make the jump to real life. I mean, these ladies look better than most, but they still just look sort of silly. At least they know how to party. <laughs> I guess they do, if you call that a party. There's nothing that you can do to change the way I feel. So, to conclude, good? Mm, I don't know if I needed that, but okay. Good? Ah, bad, bad. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yes, I know. We swear she's older than 18. Oh. Uh -huh. I'm not the one who told her to dress up like a maypole. <laughs> the point is, the ladies in these games need clothes. <gasps> I mean, doesn't it get cold? <sighs> oh, snap <sighs> out of it, Adam. It's not like you haven't seen it before. But, but when you put them all together, it makes me feel dirty. Mm, if you really want to feel dirty, read some viewer mail. Today's email is from Nejda. He writes, I have searched the internet to see if Half-Life 2 was coming out on the Xbox. Mm. Some sites say yes, others say no. I'm confused. Oh. Can you please tell me if it's coming to the Xbox? Oh, Half-Life 2, what a tangled web you leave. Yes. Now, Half-Life 2, we thought was coming out last year on the PC. Right. It didn't. No. We like to think it's coming out this year on the PC. We do. But I don't think it is. <laughs> we'll now, see. And then we also are hoping it's going to come out on the Xbox because they mentioned they would work on one. Right, but of course now Valve is focused on getting the PC version out because that's taking with. them long enough. So who knows when we'll get to see an Xbox version. But you know what? We'll probably find out more at E3. Yeah, at the, at the rate this is going, I'm thinking it may not make this Xbox. You're you thinking know, that. I'm, I'm thinking that. All right, uh, you're yeah. a little bit less optimistic than well, I am. If, 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 you, if you like to, to mull this over with other people who share your same problem, then come to our website at techtv.com slash earthquake. We also have a Mo blog there. We take pictures and send them to the website so you can see what we're doing all the time. Whose idea is that? Good night. Bye.